we are going to practice how to introduce yourselves in five different ways. Now, why do we have to know or why do we have to learn a lot of ways to introduce ourselves? Why can't I just say, my name is Julius, I'm 39 years old, I'm from the Philippines, I'm an English teacher, I teach Korean students, Japanese students, Russian students, Ukrainian students, I've been a teacher for the longest time. Why can't I just say it that way? If you remember from the pilot episode, I taught you guys that it is very important also that when you're learning a new language, you also have to embrace the culture. You can't just learn a language by speaking or talking about the things in your head. Now, how do you do that? You also have to listen. Listen to what the native English speakers are about to say or what they have to say. Do you understand? Listening is very important. Now, I know you know what you want to say. But the question is, would you be able to understand what native speakers are going to say back at, back at you? If, you're, if you've asked them a question, for example, would you be able to comprehend? Like that word, for example, it's another word for understand. Would you be able to understand what they're going to say back at you? What their response be? Now, we have to know a lot of expressions, basic, ex basic expressions, from uh, usually uh, spoken by native speakers, native English speakers, by Americans, Australians, uh, British, Canadians, right? Because if we know what native speakers say, what they usually say when they talk in everyday life, we won't have a problem understanding or uh, responding to their questions. If, for example, a native speaker asked me something and I don't know that kind of expression because uh, let's say, for example, I never got the chance to learn that expression from the book. They don't really put that in the book. They don't put the culture of, uh, of native speakers in the book. Maybe some in some situations there, but not all the time. So how am I gonna deal with that kind of situation? That's why in the first episode of English World, we are going to practice, there you go, I have my laptop with me. We have here 10 possible expressions to ask or request to introduce yourself. Now, this is really great. We have number one, please introduce yourself. Please introduce yourself. That's very basic. I think everybody knows that. Please introduce yourself. Or they might say something. They may say, introduce yourself without saying please. They can just omit the please. Please introduce yourself. And then introduce yourself. Or you may introduce yourself. You may introduce yourself. See? Now, you have to learn that. You have to be familiar with that sound. It could be a girl. Uh, please introduce yourself. You know, they have like this thin voice. Or it could be a deep voice from a native speaker. Please introduce yourself. So you have to be familiar with the sound. Please introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Say something about yourself. Say something about yourself. You know, if you're familiar with that sound, then you won't have any problem. And we have number two. This one, here we go. Check the bottom of the screen. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. Get that? Now, let's go to number three. We have, tell me all about you. Tell me all about you. Tell me all about you. Be familiar with that sound. Now let's go to number four. If uh, there are a lot of people 
we are a team and we want to know more about you, then I can say something like, I may say something like, tell me, tell us about yourself. Tell us about yourself. If it's just me who's requesting, asking you to introduce yourself, I can say, tell me about you. Tell me about yourself. Check the bottom of the screen. Uh, we have uh, number five. Tell us all about you. Tell us all about you. Tell us all about you. Remember, they don't really say word by word. Tell us all about you. It doesn't work that way. You have to be familiar with the sound. The sounds are connected. It's the phonetics. So it goes like this. Tell us. That's the sound. Tell us. From tell us. Check the bottom of the screen. Tell us all about you. Hey, how's it going? Tell us all about you. See, the more and more you become familiar with that sound, the more chances of becoming fluent. Not just by speaking, but with listening. Let's check out uh, number six. Now, this is a question in form, but not really asking you like uh, for an answer, like because you don't really have to say because. Uh, this is a request. Now, check this out. Why don't you introduce yourself? Check the bottom of the screen. Why don't you introduce yourself? Now, let's say it a little faster, a little bit more natural. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hey, how's it going? Um, why don't you introduce yourself? Get that? Okay, let's go to the next one. They have, why don't you tell me more about yourself? Why don't you tell me more about yourself? Why don't you tell me more about yourself? Okay, get that? Good. Now let's go to the next one. We have, could you tell me about yourself? Could you tell me about yourself? Hey, could you tell me about yourself? Get that? Next one. Could you tell us about yourself? Could you tell us about yourself? Okay, then. Could you tell us about yourself? All right, this is like if we are a team or it's a classroom. And for example, you're a new student and you've just arrived, you've transferred, and we want to get to know you more. And I want to speak like, uh, you know, I'm with the students. So I can say this one. I may say it this way. Like, could you tell us, could you tell us about yourself? All right, now be familiar with the sound. And for number 10, we have now, how about you let us get to know you more? It's a little bit longer, a little advanced for some kids, for children watching this video, this episode, this first episode of English World. Um, just check the subtitle here, the bottom of the screen. It goes like this now. How about you'd let us get to know you more? It, it means like uh, we want to know more about you. Now, if you watch Hollywood movies, you will encounter these expressions. Like this one, we have number 10. Check the bottom of the screen. It goes like this. Now, how about you let us get to know you more? Now, how about you let us get to know you more? So we have 10, 10 possible expressions to ask or request you to introduce yourself. Now, there are more ways for a native speaker to ask you or request you to introduce yourself. They have something like, a, you might want to, you know, you might want to introduce yourself or you, want, you might want to share more stuff about you. But, you know, we're going to deal with that later. Okay, but for now... I think 10 is okay. 
very much okay, right? But you have to be familiar with this, with these expressions. If you know the sound, if you're familiar with the sound, you know these expressions. The moment you hear it when a native speaker talks to you in this manner, like a, hey, you might want to tell me more about you. Or now, how about you let us uh, get to know you more? Or could you tell us more about you? Would you like to introduce yourself? As long as you know those expressions, these expressions, as long as you know what they're about to say, you're expecting it. You know the possible expressions that a native speaker will be saying back at you in a conversation like this one. You're good to go. You don't have to feel nervous. So this is so much better. Rather than memorizing everything that you're going to say, you also have to know what they're about to say to you. You understand? Okay, good. Now let's proceed. Now here, I'm going to give you five styles of introducing yourself. Wow, that's like a lot, right? I know you can do it. You don't really have to memorize it at the, uh, today or after watching this video, but you have all the time to memorize it. Now, memorizing it is very important. You don't have to like uh, push yourself too much, but you really have to memorize it. It's like singing a song. How do you remember a song, your favorite song? Uh, when you listen to the radio, when you listen to it uh, on your phone, when you watch the music video, how do you learn it? It's because you hear it, you listen to it every day, and then you sing with it. You sing along with it, right? Now, it's just like this thing we have here, this practice, introducing yourself. It's better to know many ways of introducing yourself because if you hear other people introducing themselves and they're using a different style and you're familiar with that technique, you're familiar with that style, you won't have a problem understanding them. You won't be lost in translation. You won't be like other students saying, what did he say? What did she say? I didn't get what she say. What? What did she say? I didn't know that. I don't understand what he was saying. As long as you know what other people are going to say their possible expressions, you're familiar with a lot of expressions, especially from native English speakers, from British um, uh, English speakers, Americans, Australians, Canadians, and other English speakers, you're good to go. You won't have any problem. Okay, now let's do this one. We have our first style. Check this out. Style number one. Look at the screen. Hello, my name is Julius. I'm 39 years old. I'm from the Philippines. I live here in Cebu City. It's a very beautiful city. I'm an English teacher. I like reading books, blogs, watching movies on Netflix and on cable channels and cooking. I'm a vegan. So, I love eating vegetables and other healthy food. My favorite food is stir-fried vegetables. It's really delicious. My favorite colors are black, white, dark blue, dark green, dark orange, dark red, maroon, yellow, and brown. See? This is like very basic. It's very easy to say that. Hello. I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And do you? That's very much from the book. Now, this is very basic. You just say hello. Very universal. Everybody knows how to say hello. Hello. My name is Vladimir. My name is Ivan. My name is Victoria. My name is Nikita. My name is Artem. Artem. My, my name is Ludmilla. Right? Now you try it. Now with this one, the first style, the first style, as you go along with your journey in becoming fluent in English, you have to understand that you have to memorize this kind of model. You can't just say, oh, I can do it. I know how to speak English. Uh, you know, I, I'm able to speak with native speakers. Maybe listening is good, but what about how you say it. What about grammar? Grammar is also important. Everything about it is important. Uh, your, your grammar, your listening, 
your fluency, when you talk, right? It just can't be about like you're, you're fluent. Yeah, fluent. being fluent is great. It's really great. But what about the grammar? It's so much better when everything is like almost perfect. I'm not saying you, you should be perfect, but it's so much better when you're near perfection. You know what I'm saying? So this is the first style. Now try to write it down. Try to talk about yourself. Like let's say we have here uh, six sentences, six lines. Like from hello, my name is Julius. I'm 39 years old. I'm from the Philippines. That's the first line. I live here in Cebu City. It's a very beautiful city. I'm an English teacher. I like reading books, blogs, watching movies on Netflix and on cable TV and cooking. I like, uh, I'm a vegan, so I love eating vegetables and other healthy food. My favorite food is still stir fried vegetables and stir fried vegetables. It's really delicious. So it's very basic. Now, I know you can do that. You can write stuff about you, about yourself. Now, see? Now, the 10 possible expressions that a native speaker might say to you or ask you or request you to introduce yourself. Let's say, let's use number 10. What is number 10? Number 10 is now. How about you let us get to know you more? So if you're familiar with that sound, do you already know that I, I know what he's saying? I know what this guy is you know, what he wants me to say. He's, he wants me to introduce her, myself without even saying, uh, please introduce yourself. Or could you introduce yourself, please? Very much from the book. It's okay if you want to learn that. But, you know, but you have to be prepared about possible expressions, other expressions, other possible expressions that a native speaker might say to you or might, uh, you know, might use to request you or ask you to introduce yourself. Now check this out. We have, let's say, number 10. Going back to number 10. Let's say a native speaker tells you something like, Hey, how's it going? Now, how about you let, let me get to know you more? Wow, nice meeting you. So, how about you let me get to know you more? See, if you're familiar with that, then you know he, he, wants, to, he wants you to introduce yourself. Now, you can use the first style, the basic one. We have, hello, my name is Vladimir Bambazov. My name is Ivan. My name is Julia. I'm from Cebu City. I'm 39 years old. I'm an English teacher. My favorite food is, uh, my favorite food, my favorite food are vegetables and fruits. I'm a vegan and I love cooking. Something like that. You know, very basic. Now, let's go to number two, style number two. Check this out. Okay, so now we are going to be using... Okay, so now we're going to be using style number two. It's the same thing. This is still about introducing yourself. But we are going to be using different styles with the sentences. Very different, but you have to be familiar. You know, it's... Guys, it's just like any other sports. Like swimming, karate, boxing, basketball. You have to keep doing it. Right? Again and again and again. You have to practice again and again and again until you make it perfect or almost perfect. Why? Because you have to be good at it. If you don't practice, you won't be able to do it. You won't be able to do it smoothly. You won't be able to speak fluently. It, 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 it is applied to all uh, languages, not just in English. When you're learning, a new language, you have to be using it every day, like 24 hours, seven days a week, every day. Like when you have your email address, your, the websites you visit, your phone apps, the language that of your, of your phone apps, all of it, it should be in English because that is the fastest way for you to become fluent in English, in listening, speaking, and writing. And vocabulary enrichment is also very, very important. Remember that. Now let's check out style number two. Hi there. I'm Julius. I'm 39 years old. I'm from the Philippines and I'm in Cebu City. It's pretty great here. I'm an English teacher 
By the way, you can call me Jules for short. My hobbies are reading books, blogs, watching movies on Netflix and on cable channels, and cooking. Actually, I'm a vegan, so I don't eat animal byproducts and animal meat. I care for the world. Anyway, I really like stir fried vegetables. It's my favorite. As for my favorite colors, I love black, white, dark, all shades of dark. Um, let's say、uh, dark shades of blue, green, orange, red, yellow, and brown. I also like maroon. See? It has the same thought. The message is the same. I just introduced myself, but using different forms of sentences. Right? If you repeat this video, if you go back from the beginning, like the part where I used style number one to introduce myself, and you check style number two, the thought is the same. It's about you know, my favorites, what I like to do, my hobbies, my name, my age, where I live, what city I'm in, or which city I am located here in my country. It's all the same. But the sentences, some sentences are different. Right? It's the same thing in, in, your, in, in, in any other languages. Now, this is very good because if other people use a different style of introducing themselves and you hear that from them and you're familiar, you know that style, you won't have a problem like understanding. You don't, you don't really have to use it that way if you have your own style. As long as, as long as it's grammatically correct, you're good to go. But if you, other people have their own style, They have, we have different styles. But if you're familiar, about, if you're familiar with it, Then you're okay. You won't have a problem understanding what other people are saying. You know what I'm saying? You get it? You understand? Okay, very good. Style number three. It goes like this a little bit advanced. Check the bottom of the screen or check your screen. Hey, what's up? My name is Julius, 39, English teacher from the Philippines and residing in Cebu City. You can call me Jules. Reading books, blogs, watching movies on Netflix, and cable channels and cooking are my hobbies. Well, actually, I'm a vegan. I don't eat animal meat. The world is such a beautiful place, and I'd like to keep it that way. By the way, I love stir fried vegetables. I would have to say it's my favorite cuisine. What about you? What's your favorite? Anyway, as for my favorite colors, You have black, white, dark shades of blue, green, orange, red, yellow, and brown in my list. Maroon as well. See? I know you understand it, some of you, but some of you are confused. They have the same point, they have the same thought, they have the same meaning.、Uh, the purpose of this one is for your tongue, the muscles of your tongue、uh, would become you know, very、uh, adaptive or fluent. Like using other styles of you know, sentences when you, when you speak English or when you hear other people、uh, say a different kind of expression, their own style of expressing themselves. You understand? Okay, good. So, see, understanding this video wouldn't, I, I think you, you won't really have a hard time understanding this video because we have one point. It's about introducing yourselves, right? So we, we're not, we're not going to tackle other topics. We're just, focusing, we're just focusing on one topic. It's about introducing yourselves in five different ways. And 10 possible expressions、uh, from a native English speaker that he or she might say to you to request you or ask you to introduce yourself. Get that? Now we have number four. This is a little bit advanced. Hey there, how's it going? I'm Jules, call me Jules. I'm 39, English teacher, Filipino, currently living in Cebu City, Philippines.、Uh, during my free time, I read books or blogs, watch movies on Netflix or on cable channels, cook vegan dishes, or exercise. As for my favorite food, stir fried vegetables comes to mind first. So, yes, that would be it. 
I'm actually a vegan, so if you'd like me to tell you a little bit about it, vegans don't eat animal meat. We respect animals just like the rest of the human beings in this world. Anyway, I've got lots of colors that I love, but I'm more into dark shades like, you know, it's got to be dark, like dark blue, green, dark green, dark orange, dark red, dark yellow, or dark brown. Uh, but my favorites are black and white. But, you know, the other colors, like bright colors, not I'm not really so much into it. It's got to be, you know, dark shades. Like this one, why I'm wearing, this is like dark green. I'm not really into this kind of neon green. Yeah, it's okay for that, maybe um, in a different place or the occasion, but this is really my favorite. I like darker shades. Yeah. Because it's cool. It's not really part of the, the, st the style, but you know, it's, I'm just saying it now. It's really cool. See that? Now, you won't have a problem. You, there's no reason for you to say, I don't know what Julius is talking about right now. It's the same thing. I'm just introducing myself. I'm telling you guys about myself. My, my favorite food, uh, my hobbies, where I live, my age, how old I am. See, I even said it twice. My age, how old I am is the same thing. And uh, which city I am lo I'm located, what country uh, I'm from, you know, my name. And look at the beginning of the, the, the style number four. It's like, hey there, how's it going? Right? That's uh, from our pilot episode, how's it going? So it's really good. You know, a lot of styles, when you talk to different people, you're not going to get lost. You're going to be okay. Because, you know, you're familiar. Like, ah, okay, I know that. I know that style. Uh, when, you know, other people talk this way. Like, even women, they have their way of uh, expressing themselves. Men, us men, we have our ways of, you know, uh, native speakers don't say, like, uh, oh, that's totally great. You know, only women say that. Like, you know, uh, for, for American men, they say something like, uh, that's cool. That's good. Good for you. For women, they say, that's totally great. That's amazing. See? So you have to be familiar with, with a lot of expressions. And then there's no excuse to it. You have to learn it. Because in order for you to become fluent in English, you have to learn their expressions. You have to embrace their culture. Get that? Okay, now, what's next? Style number five. Let's do this. Okay. Hi, I'm Julius. My friends call me Jules. I'm 39. That's right. I'll be 40 soon. Time flies. But everybody gets old. Anyway, I'm an English teacher from the Philippines. I'm actually here in Cebu City. It's a very beautiful city. A lot of tourists come here because of the, of the beaches and the warm weather. So I love reading books or information from, from blogs on the internet. Mm, what else? Uh, Netflix movies? I watch, I watch them when I get the chance. You know, during my free time, I also movies on cable TV. I love it. And I love working. I love working out. Mm, I exercise like every day. I love keeping my body fit and strong. I'm a vegan. You know what it means, right? Well, vegans respect all animals in the world. We don't see animals as food. So, yeah, I don't eat animal meat. My favorite colors are black and white, but other colors, I also like them, but they've got to be darker shades because I think it looks cool when it's darker. I love it when it's dark. See, it's the same thing. Although there are some extra information, not from the first part, not, not from style one or style two, but it's all the same. You can you can listen to it. You can still hear that I'm from Cebu City. I live in Cebu City. I'm from I come from the Philippines. I'm Filipino. I'm 39 years old. I'm an English teacher. But some some other information uh, they they get delivered in a different style with the sentences. See that uh, the first style I said like. Uh, I'm 39 years old, but here I just said I'm 39. So don't be confused because if you watch like Hollywood movies, American movies, English movies, and then they just say she's a teacher, 39 from 
from New Jersey. Uh, uh, Sandra Whitmore. It's a, it's an American name. Sandra Whitmore, 47, English teacher, Boston, blah, 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 blah. Especially when you're watching the news, if you're watching the news. So it's really good if you know a lot of styles. You know what I'm saying? So all you have to do is just learn it. That's all you've got to do. If you're learning karate, like that one, you're learning karate. Hiya! Like that one. There are so many techniques that you have to learn. You can't just learn just one punch or just one way of blocking. You have to know a lot of ways to block. In swimming, swimming. Some of you guys like love swimming, right? So you can't just have freestyle. You have the backstroke, right? You have the butterfly and other styles, you know, it's, it should be like that. Uh, there's so many ways and you have to, as much as possible. I know some of you might say, may say, oh, that's too difficult. I can't learn all those styles in one day. You don't really have to learn that now, but as long as you know, you keep learning. And if you know at least like 10 styles, I, I think you're good to go. You're good to, what is you're good to go? It means you're gonna be okay. You're going to be okay. You won't have a problem understanding native speakers. Now, it's very important for you to understand what native English speakers say, how they talk in their own, you know, in their own tongue, like how they really say things in their own way based on their culture. Because uh, maybe some of you, some of you study English because you want to go to the U.S., you want to go to Europe, you want to use English to communicate with uh, with foreigners like from Americans, Australians, British, or Canadians, right? So you, you got to learn it. You really have to learn at least 10 styles. Let's practice. Again, it's very easy. There's no excuse. You can't say, I don't understand. I don't know what's going on. The main point, the only topic of this episode is introducing yourself in five different ways and 10 possible expressions that a native English speaker might say here or might, you know, might emit. Or how do you say that? Like how a native speaker might say to you when he or she wants you to introduce yourself. Asking you or requesting you to introduce yourself. 10 possible ways. 10 possible expressions. Let's do it again. Check the screen. Now you read it. Number one. Please introduce yourself. See? If somebody tells you, if somebody asks you like that, please introduce yourself. You may use style number one, style number two, style number three, style number four, and style number five. Or you can have 10 styles, 20 styles, whatever. Um, you know, how many styles you want, it's all up to you. Number two, tell me about yourself. It's the same thing, same point. It's just asking you to introduce yourself, talk about yourself, tell us more about yourself. Number three, tell me all about you. Tell me all about you. It's the same thing. Introduce, introduce yourself. Tell me about yourself. Please introduce yourself. Now, if you're not familiar with it, like uh, especially if, a na if the native English speaker says that quickly, like in a natural speed, Oh, tell me all about you. So if you don't know what, if you're not familiar with it, then you're lost in translation. You're going to go like, oh, what, what's he saying? What's that? I don't understand. Oh, come on, man. Tell me about you. Tell me all about you. Like, they, they don't really say clearly. They're very um, nasal, like from the nose when they talk. Like, hey, why don't you tell me all about you? Tell me about yourself. So you're going to get lost in translation. But, you know, you don't really have to think that way. That's why you have to practice learning a lot of ways of introducing yourself and how native speakers would ask you to introduce yourself. Many ways, many uh, styles of uh, from native speakers, like the way they ask, hey there, uh, you look uh, like you're having so much fun. It seems like, you know, this is our first meeting. You might want to... Uh, you might want to share. You, know, you want you you might want to tell me more about you. Or if you're in a classroom, the teacher would not really say that. You might want to say, like, hey, why don't you introduce yourself? Or, okay, uh, tell us all about you. 
right? Teachers say that in classrooms. Or, uh, okay, um, we would like to get to know you more. Tell us all about you. They, in fact, they can, they can even mix it. Like from one expression, like, uh, tell us about yourself uh, because we'd like to get to know you more. You know? Or like this, from number 10, now how about you let us get to know you more? Please introduce yourself, right? They can even mix it. So don't be confused. You really have to know your weapon. You understand that? You have to understand your weapon in order for you to be able to face the battle without fear. It's the same thing in English. If you know what the native speakers are going to say say to you, their, their po the possible expressions that they're going to say to you, and you're expecting that, you're waiting for it, you're expecting it, and you know that they're going to say that to you, it becomes a habit. It becomes a habit because language is a habit. And if, if English is your habit, it's your language, you're fluent. And we have, let's say, uh, let's go number four, tell us about yourself. Uh, we have number, number five, tell us all about you. Number six, why don't you introduce yourself? Number seven, why don't you tell me more about yourself? If the teacher feels like, oh, it's just me who wants to get to know you more. Or could you tell me more about yourself? Could you tell me about yourself? Please, they can even add please. Or uh, could you tell us about yourself? Okay, so here, let's have a short dialogue. For example, look at this screen. Hey. Welcome to, welcome to, for example, this is a classroom. Let's do it again. Um, hey, uh, sit down. So you're new, right? You're a new student? Okay. It seems like uh, everybody wants to get to know you more. Why don't you go, uh, go in front and uh, tell us all about you? Please introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Julius. I'm 39 years old. I'm from the Philippines. I live here in Cebu City. It's a very beautiful city. I'm an English teacher. I like reading books, blogs, watching movies on Netflix, and on cable channel, and cooking. I'm a vegan, so I love eating vegetables and other healthy foods. My favorite food is stir-fried vegetables. It's really delicious. My favorite colors are black, white, dark blue, dark green, dark orange, dark red, maroon, yellow, and brown. Uh, if it's like, you know, darker shades, I really think it's very cool. See, uh, all the possible expressions that a native English speaker or an English speaker might say to you to, to request you or to ask you to introduce yourself from 1 to 10, you can use style 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Or you can have your own style as long as it's grammatical, grammatically correct or it's being used by native speakers or, you know, it's, it's, there's nothing wrong about your sentences there, you're good to go. Okay? So I think that's it for this episode. Now remember, the focus of this episode is just about introducing yourself in five different ways and becoming familiar with those expressions that native English speakers would say to you or would, would uh, say to you to ask you or to request you to introduce yourself. There's nothing more about this. It's just about introducing yourself in many styles. Okay, and I'm going to see you again in our next episode. Thank you so much. And remember, practice makes perfect. So keep practicing.